from Latin America South representing Team Ice with all of Team Ice's hopes now on his shoulders. We'll see whether he can carry them through. Klatos, though, has been a very good player for the Latin America, Latin America South region as a whole. We'll see whether he can pull it through here against the rookie PBO. So I have a lot of faith in Kletos, but only as a macro player. He's a very smart player, but in terms of mechanics, that's what he is not known for. That's yep. why the other day when he was facing down a mechanically gifted player, I was like, oh, well, Brain actually beat Braun. Yes, it did in that circumstance. But you're in a 1v1 where you have to fight your opponent and not necessarily on a playing field that is right for you. It's a completely even playing field. So if he can pick something very smart and has a strategy in store for us, that's how he wins the game. But in terms of pure mechanics, a jungler up against an ADC, it could be very rough for him. I have a feeling that he needs to utilize something like the Turkish tactic, which was find that pick that is stupid dumb, like the Tom Kench. Find the Gouda, find yeah, that Wensleydale. He, he really needs it. He re really needs the smart cheese. <laughs> PBO is ahead of the game, though. He knows Klaytos probably going to bust that one out. So <laughs> take away the Brain Dead Champions. Take away Pantheon. Hey, but take we're just talking about Klaytos the guy that's not going to play the Brain Dead Champions Pulse. What are we selling here? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't Pantheon know. Cassiopeia, you're going to leave. That's Subs good. A subscription to uh, Kletos. <laughs> um, Cassiopeia. Thank Bad God. Susan's, well. Susan's gone at the same time. Tom Kench probably needs to be removed. Nunu is going to be the option that PBO takes. He yeah. doesn't want to go against it. He's like, I want to play an AD carry. This is dumb. He's I'm taking. Play it's that. the shotgun approach to anything that Kletos could possibly have in terms of uh, stuff that isn't inventive. Ooh. I think Kletos has something more inventive to show. Um, he needs to play Tom Kench. Because we know Kench that is Tom open. Kench yeah. cannot, be, cannot be beaten. Especially if PBO goes Ash or any ADC, which is likely. Yeah. He's been cycling through a few of them now. And Kletos is holding on to his choice. You can see him. I mean, he's a pondering man right now. He is. But there is a sly smirk underneath that hand, I believe. I can see it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's ready. He he's ready. He's ready. Right, what have you got for us? Oh, Kletos, do it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. That's going to be the misfortune. Is it going to be right. misfortune? What the heck? Three oh. seconds to go. Is it going to be the zigs? Okay, all right, all right. All right. I see it, I see it. This is it. This is it. The classic Ziggs misfortune matchup. <laughs> the one I've always wanted. I mean, we're creating circles that slow people down. Except Ziggs has got a heck of a lot of little bombs in there. Possibly water balloons if he goes for the adorable skin. Okay, I'm a so little ready. surprised we may have not seen Ziggs earlier because he now has the Hexplosion on towers. He can destruct them at like 30-something percent. Yeah. So he can actually go for that as a win condition way easier. He can push in mini wave super fast. Yeah. And for most champions, they can't push against Ziggs. His problem is mana, so that could be something that comes into uh, consideration. But... I knew Kletos had something, and this is it. Yeah, this is what's in the bag. I wonder whether he's been playing that jungle zigs that everyone's been talking about. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, and by that I mean they have not been talking about that at all. I don't think that's even a thing. But I'm incredibly excited to see what he can accomplish on this champion because we saw Tom Kench before. I wrote it off, I'm not going to lie to you. We all now, did, I think. Now with the yep. zigs, first time we've seen it, first time I've seen it in a 1v1 setting, I'm ready to believe. I'm ready to believe ready. too. Uh, PBO, got to be careful of him though. He's on an ADC as an yeah. ADC player. Additionally, misfortune, he'll probably just go for the Emax, uh, or if he's feeling really confident, go for the double up because he knows Ziggs will be playing back in this lane. So it's actually easier to try and line up the um, the Q because it's Is unlikely it that he'll go further into the mini wave because he won't be that far back. Yeah. He'll um, he'll be able to just walk up and hit the back line of minions. But if Claytos reads that, then he can just walk away as well. So. I'm probably just expecting an E max from PBO. Look at that. Passive doing some damage here from Kletos, remember? Charges up. He's able to pop that fuse. Smack the misfortune down. Yeah, it's actually a lot of damage. Um, and Zix doesn't even have like the shortest attack range in the game. It's very similar to the standard of ADCs. It's 550. Um, so he can match the range of Misfortune, who is uh, also 550. So. Um, He's always almost able to land his auto attack with his passive, which hurts a lot. Yeah, it really is a one-two punch. You can smack them with that bouncing bomb as well. This is what I was going to be talking about, is that double up that PBO could have possibly taken means that he sort of has to stand 
in his minion wave if he wants to harass Kratos with it. And that bouncing bomb would then be able to clear the wave and harass down his opponent, which could be an opportunity for the Ziggs to get that pushing advantage. Stop PBO from really pulling out too much as the bouncing bomb is going to go wide. PBO, very, very healthy here. He's able to look in that brush. Nice scrying old purchase. But yeah. there's the bouncing bomb. That is true. Uh, PBO just Ow. wants to sit on the side of the minions, though, just like that. Oh He's going to follow goodness. up. Oh, my goodness. Bouncing bomb comes in. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic use of the exhaust. Can Clay just oh. go? Team Fire. There it is. As PBO at level one, at level two is able to take that one down. That was so incredibly close. Unbelievable. Uh, that just came down to like the last auto attack or anything else they had left in the